In this video, we stay at Four Queens Hotel. Attendants, please be seated for departure. Across the street. Let's go. They have four elevators. All right, we'll do a review on 1640 out here, the Four Queens. Quick review. It's not a bad room overall. Um, it's pretty. It was decently pretty clean. This actually was a smoking room. You know, you got your basics, iron room, iron, your iron board, hangers, drying rack, and extra pillow. I'm not sure why they always use the extra pillow, but I'm not sure why they just don't put it on the bed. But overall, it was a good experience staying here. Excuse the mess, like I said, I just stayed here. I'm taking off here. You know, you got a nice granite countertop, hard top. This thing's interesting, it actually slopes down. It'll make it easier for people who pack ice keep your beers or whatever cold but you don't even need to do that because they actually give you a fridge so that's just cool how the water just slopes down interesting you get bar soap instead of body wash you get body lotion and cups simple towels uh, h2o is the conditioner shampoo they give you and this is kind of interesting you kind of get like a body spray two body sprays on top of your raindrop shower that was kind of cool uh, the, the pressure is not very strong at all. One out of ten, I rated like a four the shower pressure. But these guys were pretty strong. Uh, I give them like about an eight or nine. But they're really thin, thin, not really massaging showers, but gives you a nice little pressure for something to wash your back. Over here is a two bedroom queen. That's the one I stayed at. That's what it looks like when you come in. Just two simple pillows. You know, you get your alarm clock, you got the old school phone type. No front desk button is there. Oh, there's a housekeeping button. Normally 4-4, four, four. normally they don't have that. Normally you call the front desk. So they got room service, housekeeping, and valet parking. Uh, plug-ins, they only have two plug-ins, no USB. Uh, one of they have one here on the side, no plug over there. You know, you got your TV, your flat screen TV. There's no simple drawers. You got a safe under here, nice safe there. You got a nice huge fridge. This is nice, it's pretty big. It fit quite a few things, which is a plus. You got a nice desk, excuse the mess. You got a pen, paper, coffee maker. The brand they use is Gourmet Roast. And here's the view from 1640. You got the View the D Hotel facing, we're facing south. That's where we're facing. It's kind of interesting. You can see the rooms next door to you as well. ESPN has some stuff going on over there, some kind of event downtown there on the Fremont Street. Overall, not a bad room. I definitely rated like a seven out of 10. Pretty clean, no resort fees, ease of walking. When you walk around downtown Fremont Street, it's really easy to walk around. Get affordable and cheap eats, really good food, definitely different lower prices than the strip. Um, but overall, not a bad stay. So, you're looking for a place to stay. This, this one I got for about $50 a night, so I have about $150 for th three nights. They do have a 24 hour cafe, they got dryer's yogurt, Subway, and pizza open 24 hours right up here. You got your pizza, your Subway, and your Nathan hot dogs over there. Individual sizes are about, you know, eight inches or so, or six inches. They have their own players club system, which I believe it's called, I'm not sure what it's called. Binion's Players Club. Four Queens Hotel. New offers. So new members offer. So you join, you get five dollars free play. And new members are 50 points. You get a one entry up to some kind of entry here. And new members, either a two for one, 
breakfast at Magnolia's or Binion's Cafe when you earn 50 points within 24 hours of sign up. And you get a free t-shirt if you earn 100 points within 24 hours as well. Here's how they earn points. Five dollars equals one point. Forty points equals one cash. Two dollars comp. Here's some examples of what you could have at Magnolia's Players Club food special. You get some hash browns, some eggs for ten dollars, not bad. Chicken parmesan dinner for twelve dollars. Prime rib dinner starting at nineteen ninety nine. Twenty dollars for prime rib and a baked potato. Some veggies. Mmm, delish. Here's a table game area. Not very big by any means, but we have a good amount of tables. Let's go to the sporting area, Kino and sports area. Not a very big sporting area. We got William Hill sports betting, parking validation at the Players Club, so you get your parking validated. Pretty cool. All right. From one of the entrance here, you got a nice little bar over here. On the entrance. It's right across from Dunkin' Donuts, Steak and Shake. You got a prime rib, 4.30 to 6.30. 8.99, prime rib for 8.99. You can't beat that 4.30, 6.30, that's pretty good. Here's what Four Queens looks like on the corner here of Casino Center, Fremont Street, across the street from Golden Nugget, the Binions, Fremont Hotel, and the Four Queens. One of the main entries, you can win yourself here. Uh, Max Becker, you win this 2021 Ford F-150 truck. All right, pretty nice little two-door truck. I think it'd be a four-door, but nobody's won it yet. It's 2021. Show you guys a little bit of scenery. Monopoly game. Wheel of Fortune, of course, my favorite game to play. And we got more table games here. Let's find the restaurant around here. Chicago Brewery. That's one restaurant. A nice view. You got Magnolia's restaurant right here. Like I said, I like to walk to uh, against the wall. You kind of learn. You got Hugh's Cellar as well. It's more of an upscale seafood area type of menu. Sea bass, lamb, duck. You got a nice little view. You could see, oversee the casino while you eat. Like I said, we like to walk uh, against the wall walk clockwise or counterclockwise and kind of that's how you kind of get to another casino really easy the most of the stuff in the middle is mainly slot machines over here is like casino cashier and everything on the right is mainly like the restaurants the stores so we try to find the steakhouse we try to find the stores we're we'll get some water some restaurants and foods there is that little food court area open 24 hours dryers ice cream yogurt subway and pizza We got the elevators here to this is the remodeled area where I'm staying at. It's more remodeled rooms. You got like a fish tank here. Lobby here, Four Queens box office, and Avis car rentals. The lobby area. A gift shop room. It's closed. It was closed yesterday too. I'll return at seven o'clock. They probably went on break. But they got a gift shop. And another entrance where you get dropped off at. From the Uber and stuff. There's the main area. I'm not sure how you enter. Okay. Pretty nice entry where you get dropped off and picked up from your Uber. I'm not sure of the same spot where Uber picks you up or what have you. But 
There's a McDonald's over there. It's good. All right, walking to this area's valet parking. Avis car rentals. The Canyon Club. I'm not sure where that's like a seating show. So they got a show going on right now. A uh, magic show. Extreme hypnosis. Okay. And Magnolias as well. And more restrooms over here. It looks like here's another entry. Oh, garage elevator. So you can park here. I believe it's free parking if you sign up for the Players Club. I'm not sure where the Uber pickup area is. I didn't see the sign. Oh, I might have missed it. All right, over here from the lobby, we've got the Players Club area. Players Club, some more bathrooms. A nice little bar area here. Slot machines, poker. Flintstones, I ain't seen the Flintstones in forever. Flintstones machines. All right, got the crafts machine. And here's another entry to the, oh, that's more food though. How are you doing? A little menu. Good. I'll take a number one. Get some Wango Tango tacos. That's just some tacos. Nachos. Tacos. Nachos. Pulled pork. And here's the outdoor area. Where we were just at, ESPN the D, on the other side. Another bar out here as well. And this is the Fremont. Cross street from the D, right by the concert. People out here enjoying outdoor. Concert out here. No street. No, no. Or in the middle street, pretty cool. Concert area. ESPN. The D. I think that's where Circa's at, I'm not sure. But this is the other side of Four Queens. And then you got the gift shop over there, Fremont Street. And that's about it. Pretty repetitive. All right, let's walk back up in here. I mean, it's not a very big hotel by any means. As you can see, we just walked everywhere. Back at that sports built area, not very big by any means, or very easy to use. Got the table games to your left, security over here. And you got the another elevator here. And now we're back at that original bar area where we were at. We got Magnolias over there, the original bar over here. And yeah, that's, that's about it. So that's a little tour of Four Queens. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more videos to come of Las Vegas and just travel videos as well. Talk to you guys on the next one. Let's end it with this little show right here. See what this guy's doing. See what this is all about.
four queens are what he makes. Pretty cool. Talk to you guys on the next video. Peace. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.